several years ago, an Oklahoma rancher called to tell me of a method that he had discovered that was really effective in rewarming cold stressed baby calves. You know, with these uh, cold, wet winter nights that we've had recently, undoubtedly some of these calves become hypothermic or their body temperature drops to very, very low amounts. The method that this particular rancher had discovered that he thought was effective was to put that cold stressed calf into warm bath water. And he found that it revived the calf rather quickly and he ended up then with a, a healthy, vigorous baby calf that was off to a very good start. Well, the scientist in me says, let's see if the scientific literature will support his theory. And as I looked, we found that Canadian scientists had actually done studies on different methods of rewarming cold stress calves. One of the experiments that they looked at took calves down to a very low body temperature of only 86 degrees. And then they tried three different treatments. One treatment was to bring them into a, a warm uh, room temperature environment of about 67, 70 degrees and wrap those calves in a thermal blanket to warm them up. Another method was to put them under a heat lamp. And then the third method was what this rancher had tried and that was to put the calves in 100 degree bath water and what they found from that experiment was that with the first two methods, it took an hour and a half for those calves to return to normal body temperature of 103 degrees. But the calves that were put in that 100 degree bath water, it only took one hour or 30 minutes less. And that's very critical as you think about the timing of a baby calf becoming vigorous finding the teat, nursing, getting that first milk or colostrum in him is so critical for his health, not only in the immediate future, but on down through the rest of his life. So I think this is a method that if we have that warm water bath available and we find a really, really hypothermic calf, we can probably go a long ways towards saving that calf by using this method. Now we want to use common sense. Of course, we want to keep the calf's head above water. We don't want to drown the calf that we're trying to save. But it is a method that I think can be helpful in saving just a few of these very, very high priced calves as we go through this calving season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.